Hello, my name is Dimitri. Today, I'm going to show you a hands-on demonstration of a software called Global Office Find and Replace. Global Office Find and Replace allows you to perform various types of find and replace operations on Microsoft Office documents, such as Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. In this particular demonstration, we're going to concentrate on the metadata or document properties aspect of the software, but I encourage you to go to our website and check out all the other things that the software can do. You can go to www.officefindreplace.com to check it out. Okay, so a few points before we get started. There is no need to open individual documents with this software. It will perform all the operations at once on all the documents located on your computer. It works with all the Office documents 2003, 2007, 2010, 2013, 2016, and up. You can process thousands of files quickly. We are unique in this space. We are extremely fast at processing your documents. You do not need to have Microsoft Office installed on your computer. So even if you don't have Word, PowerPoint, Excel installed, the software will work fine. We do not depend on Microsoft Office software installations. It has many other functionalities, which again, I encourage you to take a, take a look at our website. And of course, you can try before you buy by downloading the software and installing it on your computer. So what are some of the metadata use cases that we're going to talk about today? The very first one is going to be to review and verify metadata and document properties. These metadata and document properties in Microsoft Office documents are sometimes not easy to find. They are somewhat hidden from the user. You have to perform several steps to get to them, and you can only do it one at a time. Our software will show you all the document properties or metadata in one very convenient display screen where you can take a look at everything that's on your computer. You'll be able to update all the metadata on those documents. So, so things like author, company, date modified can all be updated. You can remove the hidden metadata that is stored with Word, Excel, PowerPoint documents. You'll be able to go in and very quickly erase author, company, etc. from all of the documents. So you, when you send them to someone as an attachment, it will not contain any of that information. We'll also be able to update custom form fields with default values stored in your document. Sometimes people use Word documents as sort of form filling features of it. We'll be able to let you update the default values in those forms. And of course, there's much more. All right, let me show you a hands-on demonstration. In this first part of the demonstration, I'm going to first review how you can take a look at Word itself and find where your metadata is located. And then I'm going to show you how Global Office Find and Replace shows you that metadata a lot easier and quicker in all of the documents located on your computer. I've prepared an example using Word. Now again, remember, you can use Excel or PowerPoint. It works exactly the same way. I have three Word documents for this demonstration. Of course, in your use case, you can have thousands. It doesn't matter. But for clarity, we'll just use three at this time. So I'm going to go ahead and open the first one that I've created for you. This is a test document. And we're going to take a look first and review the metadata inside the Word document. So the way you do it is you go to File. And then this will come up this screen here. And you will be able to see immediately that the author and modified by is Wiley E. Coyote. I pre prepared this uh, simple example for you. You can look at the other metadata in here. So first of all, you have last modified, you have created. You can also go click on advanced properties in the properties tab. And you can see all this other stuff in this multi-tab screen. Not particularly convenient if you have to look at find all of these properties in all the documents on your computer at once. You'd have to open each one and go through this exercise to take a look at it. So now let's switch over to the program and see how we can take a look at it inside Global Office Find and Replace software. In this tutorial, we are really focusing on the document properties functionality. We're not focusing on the basic aspects of Global Office Find and Replace operation, but it is very simple. Let's quickly review. In step one, I selected the files I wanted to work with, which is Word, because that's the example I created for you. I have added the folder with the three documents in it, and this is my folder right here. I can review the files by clicking on this button and taking a look at the screen that has the three Word examples that I've prepared. 
The subject matter of this video is of course the document property, so let's just jet dive right in. When you open this screen, you will see three tabs going across. In the very first tab, you can review the properties by the office document that you have selected. So let's take a look. I'm going to click on show properties for the very first test document. You will note that I have author, modified, date created, and date modified. So you can take a look at the uh, metadata in the document very quickly by just clicking on that document. Now, you, sometimes there are other possibilities. So there are other, there's other metadata that's possible within the document. In this case, it's, cur it's currently blank, so we do not show it to you by default. You can uncheck this box and you'll see the other document properties, but you can see that they're all blank. There's no value in them. So it's useful to just check this and just see the ones that have something in them already like author and last modified. I'm gonna go ahead and return to the document list and take a look at the second document. Here I have Duffy Duck as the author and modified by, and of course, date created and date modified, and so on and so forth. In the second tab, we can look at it the other way around. We can look at it from the perspective of the document property and what values are in them and what document they're stored in. So I can go <clears throat> into the second tab and you can see all the properties in my documents at a glance. In other words, I'm not looking at a list of files anymore. I'm looking at individual properties and their values in all three documents on the computer. Just think about that. You can select a thousand documents and you can review all the properties in one screen. How cool is that? I can go ahead and so I know that, for example, um, the author Wally Coyote appears in one document. So I can go ahead and click that, and you can see that that's here. The company is blank in three documents, and I can go ahead and show the files, and I know I have a blank company in three documents in this example, and so on and so forth. This is how the program will go ahead and reveal all the values in all the documents by property. And this, for example, I see the date modifies this is the same in all three cases, so I can go ahead and show the files and I'll see the date modified in these documents is this particular value 2017 October 12th. Now let's take a look at how we can update the metadata and the document properties inside the Word documents. To update the metadata and document property values we're going to use the third tab in this screen which is the find and replace operation on metadata. By default, it opens up to a blank value. So if you know what you're going to find and replace with, you can go ahead and start typing. But let's say I don't know. Let's say I just want to be replace the author with something else. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at all of all three of my documents. I'm going to show properties in the very first one. Let's say I just wanted to update that one. And I see that I have Wally E. Coyote. I can click the update button and the find and replace operation will be automatically filled for me. So I'm going to change the Wiley E. Coyote to something like this. I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to change Wiley E. Coyote to Bugs Bunny. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click Save and Close. And I'm going to select the destination folder here. I've selected the output directory. I'm not going to overwrite the original files for the purpose of this demonstration. And I'm going to click on perform substitutions or extractions. And it finished very, very quickly. Obviously, I can open the result folder. And I see that I have this first document here and I'm going to open it up. And let's take a look and see that indeed we have updated the document properties in this Word document. I'm going to go to File and I can see that I've updated the author to Bugs Bunny. You can see it in related people here. Now let me show you a different example. Let's say I wanted to replace, regardless of what the value is in my documents, to some, some other value. So for example, I know that the author is different for all three, but I want to make that author the same. And remember, this works the same exact way for company values, for anything else. So I'm going to go to find replace. I'm going to say in this case, I'm going to use a regular expression for this. And I'm going to say dot star. Dot star is a way of saying any value. And I'm going to replace the dot star with Captain Rogers, for example. And I'm going to go ahead and save and close. 
and let's perform the substitutions. And let's open the result folder and let's review the properties in all three documents. Theoretically, they should all be set to Captain Rogers. So let's go ahead and open the very first one. And we'll go to File. And you can see that the author in the first one is Captain Rogers. That's good. That's what we expected. Let's take a look at the second one. We're going to go to the file. And you can see that the author is set to Captain Rogers. And I hope at this point you get the, you get the picture and you trust me that in the third one, when I open it, it will definitely be Captain Rogers. So let me prove that to you. File. There you go. Captain Rogers. Let's do one more example. Let's update the company to something. Now, I've noticed that in my properties, company is blank. There is no value currently associated with the metadata for company. Let's, let's change it to something for all three documents. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Update button. And I'll be able to insert in a new line in the Find Replace Update Document Property tab. And I'm going to simply leave company as blank. And I'm going to put a value in here to Acme Inc going to hit save and close. For the purposes of this example, I'm going to overwrite the original files because I want to show you how we can erase the property properties later. So we'll just leave it as that. And I'm going to perform the substitution. I'm going to go ahead and open the result folder, which in this case is the input folder that we've chosen. I'm going to take a look at the document properties test doc one. Now for the company, it's not right on the first page. See, this is one of the reasons why this program is so great. It's because I can see the metadata that's kind of hard to find. So we have Wile E. Coyote, that's great, but the company is not displayed by default. You have to click on the Properties drop-down, select the Properties, and if I go in here, you can see that I have Company Acme Inc. that I've updated. And trust me when I say the other two documents have the same value, but uh, maybe I should prove it to you. So let's go into Document 2, take a look at that, go into File, properties, advanced properties, and you can see that the value of the company has changed. Now let me show you a demo of how you can now go ahead and erase or remove all the metadata. Let's say I want to send a Word document to someone, but I want to hide my company and private author information. You can do it using this program, and I'm going to now give you a hands-on demonstration of how you can erase the metadata. So here, I'm back at the original screen where I can work with the metadata properties and I see that this is my last substitution that I made. So first thing I'm going to do, and this is an important uh, consideration that you can make, you can click the reset button and you'll be back at square one and you can do whatever you like. So to make matters easy for you, we have a special button in this screen that says remove all metadata. Now you can go one at a time and you can do the regular expression dot star and remove it with a blank. You can do that one at a time, like I showed you in the first example, but I'm going to go ahead and click on remove all metadata. What this will do is it will go ahead, find all the different metadata in your document that you could possibly have and replace them with blank. And the regular expression here just means any value stored in those fields. And this is automatic. I did, just did one click of a button and it created all the necessary entries for me to remove all the metadata. So let's see how that would work. So I'm going to hit save and close. I'm going to overwrite the originals and I'm going to perform substitutions or extractions. And it's done. Let's open the result. In this case, I overrode the original files there in my input directory. I'm going to go ahead, click here and let's review the first document. And you'll be able to see that my author is gone. My last modified is gone. And if I go to the properties and advanced properties, everything here is blank. And of course, I hope you trust me that all the metadata was removed from the other documents. I don't want to waste your time in this video. Let me point out a couple of things that you can do here with this screen that will make things easier for you in case you need to do something. So first of all, there's a lot of contextual help available. Click on the question mark and a big help document will be brought up and you can read that. So that's nice. The other thing you can do is you can load all your substitutions from Excel. There is a template available 
on our website that you can download you fill out that template and you can load it from the excel or csv template with using this button you can also export these entries to your to csv and load them at a later time if you need to do this over and over and over again thank you for watching i hope you have found this demonstration useful in your work please go ahead to www.officefindandreplace.com to download the software and try it for yourself for free if you have any questions whatsoever, please email us to exisllc at gmail.com. We pride ourselves on customer support and answer all questions very, very quickly. Thank you for watching.